This week in Cherryville and Lumby Parent and Tot Cooking, we will be making pork souvlaki, Greek rice pilaf, and tzatziki sauce. We're going to zest our lemon. Using the side of your cheese grater, you can just run your lemon along and it will zest it quite nicely. And that's how you zest a lemon without a proper lemon zester. In your large Ziploc bag, put your oil, lemon juice, red wine vinegar, minced garlic, dried oregano, thyme, lemon zest, salt and pepper, Seal up your bag. Make sure it's very sealed. And then mix it up really good. Until everything is really well incorporated. Once it's mixed, you're going to add your pork chunks. Seal up your bag again. Mix it around really well so you get every piece of pork once it's well incorporated place it in the fridge to marinate it's best to marinate overnight if you can but if you can't get it in there for at least four hours. If you are using bamboo skewers, remember to soak them in water for at least 20 minutes before making your skewers. Once your meat is done marinating, we're gonna make a skewer. Make sure to push your meat together nice and tight. Preheat your barbecue to a medium to high heat. Place your skewer on turning every two to three minutes until the meat is done. Usually takes around 12 minutes depending on the thickness of your cubes.
First, you have to remove the moisture from your cucumbers. So start by salting your shredded cucumber. Let it sit for about 10 minutes. It's time to drain the liquid off of your cucumbers. If you have a strainer, you can take and put them into the strainer and just push the liquid out. If you don't have a strainer, we're going to show you how to use cheesecloth. Just place your cucumber into the cheesecloth. Wrap it up nicely. And just squeeze. Once you've got all of the liquid removed from the cucumber, you can use them now to make your tzatziki sauce. Your recipe calls for a little bit of squeezed lemon. So we've got a lemon squeezer and we're going to squeeze some fresh juice out of it. The recipe calls for one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice. And that's probably about enough. Once your lemon juice is in there, add your cucumber. Your oil. Garlic. And dill. Mix it all up. Once it's fully mixed, it's ready to serve or you can let it sit in the fridge for a couple hours. This allows for the flavors to mix in just a little bit more. Heat your oil on a medium to high heat. Once your oil is hot, add your onions, And garlic and saute them until they start to go a little bit clear and are nice and sweet. Once you've cooked your onions and garlic about five minutes, add your rice stir and cook until they become very white. Stir 
stir constantly. You will notice your rice start to turn pure white. Before moving on to the next step, make sure that all of your rice is completely white. Once your rice is completely white, add your broth and your water. Cover with your lid. Bring to a simmer. Then turn your temperature down to low and cook for 12 minutes or until water is evaporated. Once your rice is done, remove it from the heat and allow it to rest for 10 minutes. Remove the lid from your rice. Stir in your lemon zest. Lemon juice. dill, and parsley. Let it sit for about five minutes and then serve. Serve all together and enjoy.